Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see what is MuleSoft and what are the different components available in MuleSoft. So in order to start with, what is MuleSoft? So this is a integration product or we call it as a one of the product in the middleware technology. So there are a lot of products uh, similar to MuleSoft available in the market. Today, what are we are going to see, it's mostly uh, about MuleSoft only. And uh, using this tool, we can connect to different applications. For example, uh, you wanted to connect to SAP or you wanted to connect to Salesforce or there are a lot of connectors are available around 300 plus connectors are available to talk to different system. So for example in your organization you wanted to exchange a data between different system. So then you can use MuleSoft tool in order to connect and in order to exchange the data and when we exchange the data if you have XML and the receiving system needs in a JSON format those kind of conversion also we can do it in MuleSoft and then finally we can send the data to the target system. And in MuleSoft, we have a different component, but at high level, right, mostly we'll use AnyPoint platform and AnyPoint studio. So what is AnyPoint platform? It's a web-based tool, which is anypoint.mulesoft.com, which is a web URL, which you can log in and then you can see different components. So this is kind of a management component where we internally also call it as a control plane, which can manage many components. And this AnyPoint Studio, it's like a Eclipse based uh, studio or IDE using which you can develop a Mule application and also it has some MUnit which is a MuleSoft uh, unit testing framework and also DataWave. So this is the one we use it for any kind of mapping in order to convert one format to another format. And then AnyPoint platform, we have many components but again I have mentioned only very key component only here. So the design center. So when I start with design center, right? So it's like, uh, you're going to design your API. So th those kind of things, you can do it from the design center, mainly to design your API specification. Uh, it could be a RAML or it could be an open API specification, which you can do it from this design center. So this design center has a wizard based uh, development as well, where you can easily choose what method you need and what examples you wanted to set it. All those stuff, you can follow your wizard and uh, using which you can create your API spec. Similarly, you have a, if you're comfortable with the RAML coding, you can type your RAML coding directly also, which will build the API specification. Flow manager. So this is a lightweight tool. Uh, whatever the Mule app, we can develop in AnyPoint Studio. The same thing, we can do it from the browser based version as well. So for example, if you don't have any complex integration, you just have to pick some data and uh, trigger some API. So those kind of a uh, simple integration, you can do it via this flow manager and the API manager. So this is the one where we will create an API and manage our API. For example, if you have created an API specification and on top of that, you wanted to create an API and whenever there is someone is calling our API, you wanted to apply some policy. So how do we apply or how do we enforce my policy in my API, right? So those kind of policy creation, and uh, other configuration, we'll be doing it from this API manager. And the exchange, uh, it's basically a repository where you can store all your asset. So mainly we'll store our APIs there. So this will act as a catalog where we can see all our API. And also every developer in the organization will have access to this exchange or we can provide access and we can govern it so that everybody can come and see what are the available APIs where they can consume the data. And runtime manager, so this is the main tool where which we will be mostly using it for deploying our component. For example, if you wanted to deploy your Mule application into Cloud Hub, so you can use this one. Similarly, if you wanted to deploy the component to some other deployment option like Runtime Fabric, you can use this as well. So this is the place you will select your jar file if you wanted to do a manual deployment and then you will select how many v core you needed, how many uh, RAM, everything you need it that you can specify from here and then you can finally deploy it to cloud up or uh, the different deployment options are there using which you can deploy it. So this is one of the main component which is runtime manager and access management. So this is the place where we will create the user, assign the roles and we will give access to different components and any point monitoring. So this is the place mostly used by the support team where they can do a monitoring for every day. Uh, they can go and see what are the application or uh, getting failed or success, what is the success rate and those kind of things they can monitor from here. So these are the main component and uh, yeah, so almost we have seen uh, most of the important component, but again, there are many components other than this also we have something called any point MQ. So this is the messaging uh, platform or messaging 
service from any point platform if at all you know if you have any publish subscribe mechanism where you need to create a queues or topic so then you can manage it from here so so we internally we call it as a exchange there uh, for topic so anything that kind of integration integration you might need any point mq and we have something called data graph and uh, we have uh, we have any point visualization so there are many components so mostly day to day uh, activity right so we will be using it from the development and support point support point of view we will use these components thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye Thank you.